Hello, Internet. I'm here with another update for pet game, or should I say RPG game. It's really essentially the same as before. I've just renamed everything um, to be a little more agnostic as to the type of game you're making, right? Maybe you don't want a pet game. Really, a pet game, I would say, is a subgenre of, of RPG. And there's nothing that prevents you from making any kind of RPG for this game. So I just didn't want to limit like my own thinking or thinking of people, you know, seeing these videos being like, oh, I can only make a pet game. Like, no, you can do anything. To demonstrate, one of the changes I've made when you sign up is there's now a little more information. You get to pick the appearance of your little guy. So I've added three graphics. Um, there's this priestess character from my uh, game Star Kindred, uh, which I almost don't want to point you toward because I'll probably take it off in the next few months or something. Take it offline. No one's really playing. Uh, and it costs money. But anyway, there's also Space Knight. So, um, I don't know, but just some other little graphic to, again, kind of give you an idea of, you know, what kind of game are you making? I don't know. Uh, and I'll call him, I don't know, Mr. Knight. Doesn't matter. Uh, my name is Ben. I'm Ben at Ben.com. And Ben at Ben.com, let's say. That should be enough characters. All right, and here you go. Uh, other thing I did, rather than feed, I've called it rest. Um, partly there isn't any... You know, there's no items in the game right now, and I've alluded to, well, maybe you would make food items. If you're going to do that, well, that's a whole other thing. Uh, this is just now a little rest mechanic. Now it says, ah, instead of om nom nom. <laughs> so these little tiny differences I made just to try and make the game uh, less tied to the concept of pets. And more general, uh, while still being like, yo, you, you can make a pet game, right? Because <laughs> you totally can. Uh, it's, it's, uh, a lot of it is just down to the graphics. Um, other thing, though, I, I will say, and I was kind of mentioning earlier, is that some things in here have been renamed. So uh, where's like here? Rather than calling it a pet card, it's a character card uh, and little things like that. So as you go through the code, especially for following older videos, you may notice some different names. On one hand, I don't know, I didn't want to rename a lot because I'd like the old videos to still be, you know, as relevant as possible. But like calling it a pet card just doesn't, you know, if you're not making a pet game would be like bizarre, right? It would be an inappropriate name for the component. So um, that said, if you, um, you know, if you've already got code, um, your own kind of version of the game that you've been working on locally, you don't have to worry about, you know, I don't know, rename as little or as much as you want. If, you're, if your game is a pet game, just keep calling it pet card. There's no reason to um, change it. And when you're watching my videos, you know, as you combine these mechanics, you, you're probably going to have to do some sort of meshing of, you know, what's in my video versus what's in your code anyway. So hopefully I, it would go pretty smooth. The, the name changes wouldn't throw you off too much. Um, but certainly if you're starting out from my, you know, just one video, it would be a little confusing. So I just wanted to explain that. Anyway, I think that's it. Um, I'll go back to normal adding feature videos after this. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And as always, if you have ideas uh, for things you'd like to see in the game, please let me know. Um, yeah, I'm happy to explain how to do whatever. I don't know. People have been asking for some mechanics. They've definitely been inspiring videos so far. So feel free to do the same. Anyway, thanks again and goodbye.